Hello and welcome back to my channel guys. Uh, Gearbest, my friends at Gearbest, sent me in this uh, 48 in 1 um, wrench thing here, socket wrench thing here. It's uh, got a lot of little sockets on each end of it, so you don't need to carry loads and loads of sockets around. There we go, there's a bit of a picture on the back there. Uh, and it's in this horrible um, type packaging again. So what we better do is uh, get it out of here and for that I've got my shears. Okay, so I subscribe uh, on YouTube to this guy called Scout Crafter, and he's got a very good way of opening this horrible package in here. Uh, you use a pair of shears like this, and what you basically do is you just clip every now and again along the packaging like so, and then you just trim like this, and what will happen is this bit will just fall off. You've not got a great big long bit coming off and digging in your hand. Makes it a lot easier. Okay, so that's better. Can we get into it? Let's have a look. <clears throat> and there it is, guys. Check that out. That's all right, isn't it? You see what I mean? They uh, got loads of different sockets on here. Alrighty, let's take a bit of a closer look at that then. Okay, so the handle on this thing is a uh, plastic with a very nice rubber. Uh, over mould here. It's quite comfortable to hold. You've got a little bit of the uh, wrench itself poking through on this side and I guess that's where you could put a manufacturer's name I guess. Now let's move to the business end. This is the small end. As you can see it's got these modern um, profile of sockets on here and they just simply rotate round. We've got larger ones at this end. Uh, you can see here the difference between um, the old style of socket and then this newer style of socket they will uh, accept just about any um, screw or nut head you could put in here as you've seen on the picture earlier on hex um, splines damaged heads etc now one side of the uh, is marked in imperial and on the other side it's in metric so they will take just about anything these guys they're really quite interesting and as i say they simply rotate round and you can see there's a little uh, index ball bearing just here which holds it in place and they are set at a slight angle as well okay then so is this thing as good as a proper socket set let's find out i added a few drops of a uh, three-in-one oil to the uh, mechanism to make them run that little bit nicer and they much better now guys Right, and so we have uh, 8 millimeters, 10 millimeters, 11 millimeters, and 13 millimeters on this end. On this end, we have, let's have a look here, 14 mil, 16 mil, 17 mil, and 19 millimeters. Now, then, in the 8 millimeter socket, we have what I thought was um, some expanded polystyrene packaging, but it's not actually, it's uh, quite hard stuff. What it is, it's the uh, little um, bits and pieces you use when they tumble uh, metal like this here to clean it up. And it just goes around in a big drum with little stones and bits and pieces like this in to help clean it up. And that's what we've got here. I'll see if I can get them out. There we go. So we have a small, what I'm going to say is a small ceramic ball here. And I don't know what this stuff is. Perhaps it's ceramic too. It's like a little stone look. I say this uh, tumbles around and cleans up the um, the tools uh, or the bits of metal, you know, whatever they whatever they got tumbling with it. So polish them up and clean them up and take all the burrs off. Right, and we'll start with the eight millimeter socket with this little uh, nut and bolt here. Here it comes, little uh, eight mil socket. Pop him on. Let's see what we can do with it. I haven't used this before guys, so you're coming along for the ride with me. Blimey, I'm getting a fair amount of torque on here. God, blimey. Yeah, that is definitely tight. Can we get it undone again? Hopefully. God, blimey, yeah. Yeah, I did that up nice and tight then. 
Right, and let's uh, move up a size. We'll go up to the 10 mil socket now. Uh, is this loose? It will be in a minute. Right, and here we go. So it's nice and loose, as you can see. Get the socket on there and apply some torque. There we go. Definitely tight. Can we get it undone again? Huh. Yep. There we go. Let's try uh, something slightly larger, shall we? And this time we'll try the half inch or 13 millimeter socket. You can see the nut is nice and loose. Let's see what we can do with it. Yep. That's good and tight. You can get a fair amount of um, torque using this thing, guys. Oh, blimey. Yeah, it's nice, nice to handle. Nice to uh, use. Very nice indeed. Right, let's see if we can use some of the uh, larger sockets. Right, and so I had to do a bit of hunting around in my shed to find uh, a nut and bolt for the 14mm socket here. Let's give it a go. This has been uh, driven into a nylock nut, by the way, guys. Right, so I finally managed to get it down to the nut. Let's see how tight we can get it then. There we go. Give it some welly. Oh, yeah. Ah, blimey, yeah. Nice and tight. You can apply quite a amount of torque with this thing, guys. And out again. Right, and so turning this nut and bolt over allows me to use the 17mm socket and also shows you another advantage of this little tool here. It'll fit right over a long thread and still get to the nut underneath. Here we go, let's tighten him up. That's nice and tight. Can we get it undone again? Let's have a look. Should be able to. Cool. And there we go. <coughs> Fantastic. Okay then, guys. So, the 48-in-1 wrench that uh, was sent to me by my friends at Gearbest. Uh, I've had my eye on this for a little while now. Um, it's quite interesting. And as you know, I do happen to like my tools. Uh, and this is uh, quite interesting. Um, I think it's found a place in my tool chest already guys, so um, let's thank Gearbest once again for sending it in. Alright then guys, well I hope you found today's review helpful and interesting. Um, so I've had my eye on this for quite some time now, it is an interesting bit of kit. Uh, don't forget you can subscribe to my channel, uh, you can click like and you can share it with your friends too because let's face it they might be interested in something like this as well guys. Uh, you've probably already seen this on my Instagram feed, uh, there's my Google Plus, and if you wish to help the channel, uh, and it all goes a long way to helping guys, there's my uh, Patreon page too. Okay, so it might not have as many sockets as uh, my socket set here does, and you can get larger socket sets than this one guys, but it is uh, it seems to be a useful thing to have kicking around in your tool bag or your toolbox, you know, rather than carrying a whole load of uh, sockets about. Alright then guys, so it's going to be living right here in my uh, new-ish tool chest here. Right then guys, thank you for watching. I do hope you'll pop back again so, some other time in the very near future and I will catch you back here at Rathbone Manor in the near future then. Laters! Oh, <laughs>